Welcome back. Now, Home Affairs Minister Dr. Aaron Motswaledi has refuted claims that his department extended the Zimbabwe special permits by six months to delay Zimbabwean nationals from returning to their country and voting against the ZANU-PF. The country's elections are scheduled for uh, April next year. Motswaledi says the allegations made by the Helen Sisman Foundation cannot be left unchallenged. Uh, let's get his response now from his own mouth. Uh, Minister Motswaledi joins us now. Thank you very much, Minister, for your time here on uh, uh, ENCA, of course, um, you know, they're saying that uh, this is something that they think is happening uh, because Zimbabweans are supposed to be taken to the polls uh, sometime in April next year. And now they are of the belief that the belief rather that uh, our government, you particularly minister, have, have uh, extended uh, their permits just to um, have them stay here and not vote out the ZANU-PF. What's your reaction to that? Thank you, Masero. Good, good, good day, and good day to the viewers and listeners. Masero, this is one of the most ridiculous conspiracy theories I've ever heard. Actually, I'm being accused of manipulating elections in another country, using events here at home. That's one of the reasons why I decided uh, to respond to this statement. Otherwise, I would have ignored it. And I'm challenging Helen Sussman Foundation publicly in the statement, and I'm doing so now that they must use their massive resources to mobilize Zimbabweans in their numbers, to go and participate in the elections in Zimbabwe. And I'm, I'm going further to say it is a, a democratic obligation of a citizen of every country to participate in the elections of their country in order to determine the, the direction that their country is taking. So if Helen Sussman Foundation is really, really believe that that's what I was doing, I'm doing, then they must do the opposite, mobilize them to go and vote. Why, why should I, you know, on earth, why should I uh, try to manipulate what's happening in Zimbabwe in terms of election to an extent where I'm using legitimate processes, which everybody knows, you know, delay people from going back home to vote. That, that's extremely ridiculous, Marcel. Mm. Uh, so, Minister, you've been saying in the media, of course, uh, and speaking to many journalists, saying that the reason you extended uh, the permits is not necessarily, it has nothing to do with the court case. I think you'll be sitting sometime next month. So why did you extend the permits uh, to uh, next year? Absolutely, it has got nothing to do with the court case. Marcelo, on the 2nd of September, when I extended this, I issued a directive of the extension. I then issued a statement on the same day to explain to the public why the decision to make the extension was made. On Monday following that, I then gazetted it to make it legal. So in the statement, all the reasons are given. And in this present statement, where I'm refuting Helen Schussman Foundation, I'm attaching, I'm annexing that statement which I issued uh, uh, on the 2nd of September to show that I, was, I, I gave very good reasons why, and even in reply to their lawyers, because we are communicating with them via their lawyers, in re reply to their lawyers and via Abidavid, we've made it clear exactly why we're extending. Uh, it would have been naive of me, of course, to believe that by extension, then I stop cases. Why should I stop them? I'm defending the court cases. I can't stop them. Anybody can go to court. You can't try to do tricks to stop them from going. What you do, you defend. You defend what they are accusing of in a court of law. Mm. And Minister, you know, looking at uh, all these allegations that are coming through, etc., um, of course, uh, with uh, your preparation, I know you can't speak too much about the case because you, you've been saying that it's a bit uh, it's subjudicate because it's still in court. But I assume that uh, the department stands by its decision to eventually, uh, you know, stop the permits. Well, we are not stopping the permits, Marcel. Mm. We stand by our decision that the permits have expired and we are not yeah. going to renew them. We have given an extension. We are not stopping any permit. We are just not renewing that which has, been, which has expired. Mm. As it was decided in 2017 that after five years, the permits will expire. All we are doing is not to renew them. And we gave very good reasons. Mm. Mm.
All right, Minister. So uh, it, it just makes it a bit difficult for me because I can't, uh, uh, you know, discuss the case with you. But uh, I guess uh, maybe I should ask you if you'll be taking any legal action against the Helen Sisman Foundation uh, for the allegations that they've made, or, or do you think they're just dumbfounded and you just leave them alone? No, I'm not taking any legal action. I've given them a public challenge. Yeah. Let them use their market resources to mobilize Zimbabweans to go and vote because they seem to be worried about outcome for election in, in, in Zimbabwe. Let them put their money where their mouth is. That's all I'm doing. I'm not going to take any legal action. Mm. I just want them to get into the action and, and see what they can do. Let them do it. That's a, that's a challenge I'm throwing at them. All right, well, we'll have to get the Helen Sisman Foundation to see how they respond to the minister's challenge for them to use their own resources to help Zimbabweans living in South Africa go back to their country and vote. Thank you very much, Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Aron Motswaledi.